mail call from our good buddy, King Nut Diecast Callers. Stay tuned to see what is in the box. Welcome to Live or Diecast. Today, I have a mail call from a good buddy, King Nut Diecast Callers. Check him out. I promise you won't regret it. Um, currently, he not only does peg hunts, uh, he's a he's a diecast collector. He's a big part of our diecast family. Um, he races. He started racing, and I am currently the track champion. I have faced the gauntlet, and this is the car that I'm driving. The Dodge Concept car, the Baby Ruth Sugar Rush. It is known to be a fast casting. That's why I sent it. And look where it's at. At the top! I'm so excited about that King Nut. Can't thank you enough for sending this to me. I know this is your, you've reached out to me, said this was your challenger. This is the new champ. Uh, so let's open it up, see what you sent. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, I want to open this up and let you all see what's in it with me. It's kind of a surprise. Uh, he, I don't know if he put anything extra in, but he probably did just because I know what kind of guy he is. So let's see what's in this box. There's a letter. Brandon, live or die cast. Hope you like the set of cars I sent you. The set of cars you sent me. It's hard to send you something you don't already have. Congrats, congrats on track champion at King, Nuts Die, King Nut Diecast Raceway. Your car will be very hard to beat. Let's see how my challenger does on your track. Eric, King Nut Diecast Cars. Man, I can't believe you sent me a set. Maybe my, you know, like an extra car or something, but I want to see this Challenger. That's that's what I want to see. I want to see what you sent. Okay. All right. There it is, the BMW. Is that the what? Let's see what this is. The M3 GT2. Yeah, the M3. So, King Nut, this is your Challenger. For the king of the 573 race wars at live or die cast this is it man this thing looks fast just sitting in my hand okay Let's see what the wheel spins like it's got a decent wheel spin okay all right um the current track champion at the 573 Race Wars is Eddie from Simple Customs in the Turbulence, the five dots. This car right here is fast. Uh, Ken Wynn is the next challenger to face Eddie from Simple Customs. And he's gonna be riding in this McLaren Spider the 720S Spider, and this thing looks fast too. So Eddie, Simple Customs, looks like you got your hands full, buddy. You got a couple challengers coming after you, so what do you say to that? Everybody watching, be on the lookout. I'll probably try to upload the Race Wars uh, King of the 573 video tomorrow, which will be Sunday. I'm gonna try to start running my races on Sunday that way, everybody that enjoys watching them, they can not only watch mine, but they can watch King Nut, King Nut also, and then, you know, whoever else that they're watching, uh, they can enjoy those too. So, we'll see how that works out. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited about being track champion at King Nut Raceway. That is awesome. The Baby Ruth. I actually have this whole set. There's four cars in the set. I happen to have all of them and uh, at one time I had three I opened one I've still got it it's it is the fastest car I have currently on all my tracks um, 
it's my fastest car and then I have a Chevy pickup that comes in close second but it never has been able to beat that baby Ruth sugar rush so be on the lookout for that king of the 573 and king nut raceway races all right now let's see these extra set that he sent oh wow spider-man maximum venom is that that's the set this is the 70 dodge hemi challenger i do not have this set look at the card art i am a I like to open Hot Wheels, um, but to me, you know, when you open it and you throw away the card art and the blister, it just takes something away from it for me. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I have cases and cases and cases of unopened cars. As you can see in my displays back here, I've got another display over here. They're full of unopened cars. I open my cars. Um, but when you do that, you lose, you know, the beauty of, of what's, you know, what, what originally sells that little 94 cent car that's inside that blister. And it's that card art. Look how eye catching that is. And that is awesome. And it looks like each one of these. So this is one of five. King Nut, thank you so much, man. I, you're lucky I don't live close to you in Arizona because I probably... I would probably bug the crap out of you. You're just, you're a cool dude, and I could see myself getting along with you really well, and and we have, you know, Hot Wheels in common, so. So this is car number two, and this is the Jackhammer, the Venomized Iron Man. Now check this out. Look at the card art on that. Look at the car. It's got the red five spokes on it. The gold, look, I mean. And then come back and just check out the card art. I mean, that's hanging there. You see that? You're like, I want that, Mom. That's going home with me. Awesome. And it's cool because, yeah, I do not, I do not have this. Haven't, I haven't even seen them. Um. When did these come out? So 2019, so it would have been 2020. I'm interested to know where you picked these up at. Did you get them from like just Walmart or Target or did you get them from a grocery store or something? Let me know. Eric. So this here is car number three. This is the 71 El Camino. It's got the red PR5s on all four corners. Got the bigger ones. I think what is that? The 12 millimeters in the back. 10 millimeters in the front. Look at the paint, the detail on the side. And then step back and just boom. Look at that card art. The Venomized Captain America. Check that baby out. That is so cool. Wow. All right, next up, we got the Venomized Group Custom 2015 Ford Mustang, the gold OH5s, the bigger ones in the rear, smaller ones in the front. It's got the green paint. All of them kind of have the stripe down the side and then it has the superhero emblem, which is pretty cool because they are part of the same set. And then look at the card art. Look at that. I mean, Venus fly traps with fangs and like slobber sticking off their teeth. I mean, that is, <laughs> that is awesome. Like you take that out, you throw that away. And I mean, the car is cool, but you lose, I don't know, Every, you know, each to their own. You do what you want with your Hot Wheels. It makes no difference to me, but I will not be opening these. These will be, I've got my sets that I keep, they're up, up top hanging on pegs, and this will definitely be joining the other sets up there. 
Much appreciated. Eric, thanks, thanks again. And then last but not least, the tail dragger. Sweet. Venomized Doctor Strange. Check that out. Now that is cool. It's got the flat black enamel, the livery and bright colors on the side, yellow five spokes. Just looks like it's out of a comic book. And then again, check that card art. Check the card art out, you guys. That is cool. That is super cool. King Nut, man. Thank you so much. You know, I thought maybe you might send like an extra car or something just to kind of surprise me, but I didn't figure you'd send me a whole set, but you did. That's awesome, man. I I can't thank you enough. I really can't. But what I can do is give you a big old smile by the cars you sent me in the set. Man, I really appreciate this. Like I said, these will go up top behind me. Uh, your letter. We'll go with all my other ones. I'll keep this forever. Um, I appreciate you sending these to me. I'm, uh, I'm at about 11 minutes. Okay, yeah, I better wrap this up. So um, here we go. There's this Challenger. Everyone be on the lookout. The BMW M3 GT. What do you think? Who do you got? Who you rolling with? Who's your money on? Don't blink. Let's race. Until next time. This has been Liver Diecast. And I am out.